Advancements in military technology are not just about weapons and armor. Soldiers themselves are becoming more enhanced. Powered exoskeletons are being developed to reduce fatigue, increase endurance, and help troops carry heavy loads more efficiently. While fully armored combat suits remain theoretical, several countries, including the United States, China, and Russia, have made progress in deploying practical exoskeleton systems for logistics and infantry support thus far. So, in this video, let's take a closer look at military exoskeletons, how they work, and where they stand today. A Powered Exoskeleton is a wearable system that enhances strength and mobility using electric motors, hydraulic actuators, or pneumatic systems. Think Iron Man from Marvel, but without the flying and built-in weapons. These systems are designed to assist soldiers in carrying heavy loads, moving faster over difficult terrain, and reducing physical strain during prolonged operations. Some concepts aim to improve protection by integrating armor, but most real-world designs focus on support rather than direct combat applications, at least for now. Early military exoskeleton development faced challenges such as battery limitations, weight distribution, and mechanical complexity. However, advancements in lightweight materials and power efficiency have made modern designs more viable. Today, militaries are focusing on exoskeletons that provide practical benefits in combat support roles, particularly for infantry and logistics personnel. The U.S. has been at the forefront of military exoskeleton research, with multiple systems developed for different applications. One of the most well-known is Lockheed Martin's Onyx, a lower-body exoskeleton designed to assist soldiers by reducing fatigue and improving mobility, especially in rugged terrain. The U.S. Army tested Onyx for potential field deployment in 2018, but technical challenges and funding limitations led to its discontinuation. However, the project provided valuable research insights that could influence future developments in military exoskeleton technology. Another major development in the U.S. is the Guardian XO, a full-body powered exoskeleton from Sarcos Robotics. Unlike Onyx, this system provides full-body support, enabling soldiers to lift up to 90 kilograms with minimal effort. While still being refined for military use, the Guardian XO has been tested for logistics and maintenance operations, where reducing strain on personnel is critical. The Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, or Talos, was a more ambitious U.S. project aimed at creating an advanced combat exoskeleton for special forces. It was envisioned as a powered armor suit integrating ballistic protection, enhanced mobility, and real-time data systems. However, similar to the Onyx, technical challenges led to the project being scaled back, with its research contributing to other wearable military technologies instead. China has also been developing powered exoskeletons, with a focus on supporting infantry and logistics personnel. The Norinco-developed exoskeleton revealed in 2017, is a lightweight system designed to assist troops in carrying heavy loads over long distances. It has been tested for use in high-altitude environments, where oxygen levels are lower and physical exertion is more demanding. A more advanced system was later showcased by China's Poly Technologies, designed for increased mobility and better load distribution. While details remain limited, this exoskeleton appears to be aimed at special operations forces and heavy weapons teams, allowing soldiers to carry large caliber firearms or heavy equipment with reduced strain. Russia has taken a different approach, integrating exoskeleton technology into its broader soldier modernization programs. The Ratnik 3 combat suit is one of Russia's more publicized developments, featuring a passive exoskeleton to reduce strain on the lower body. Unlike powered systems, passive exoskeletons rely on mechanical structures rather than motors or hydraulics, making them lighter and more reliable. While Ratnik 3 is still in development, Russian officials have claimed that it could be deployed with special forces in the future. 
Other countries, including France, South Korea, and Japan, have also experimented with military exoskeletons, though most remain in prototype stages. France has tested exoskeletons for logistics applications, while South Korea's Hyundai has developed wearable robotic systems with potential military applications. Japan's research has largely focused on civilian uses, but its advancements in robotic mobility could influence future defense projects. Despite early optimism, most powered exoskeletons remain in limited use due to technological and logistical challenges. Battery life is one of the biggest limitations, as powered systems require significant energy to operate over long periods. Weight distribution and mechanical complexity also impact usability, particularly in combat environments where mobility is critical. For now, military exoskeletons are primarily used for logistics, helping troops carry supplies, operate heavy machinery, and reduce physical strain during long missions. Some systems have seen limited field testing, but widespread adoption is still a work in progress. Future advancements in lightweight materials and battery efficiency, but also artificial intelligence, could make these systems more practical for direct combat roles. But for now, their main impact is in enhancing soldier endurance rather than transforming infantry combat. So, while powered exoskeletons may not yet be the fully armored combat suits seen in science fiction, they are already changing how militaries approach mobility and endurance on the battlefield. With continued advancements, these systems could very well become a standard part of infantry equipment in the coming decades. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.